Hi everyone, so hope all of you are doing fine. If you guys are wondering where I have been off to, <laughs> I have this little baby with me. Yeah. Okay, the so that's why I haven't been online for a long time. But this puppy, unlike other puppies, it actually wanted to come to us. So he actually chose us, not the other way around. So I've always had bad luck in the past with toilet training dogs and then at that time my son was pretty small whereas now he's taken responsibility you know he's the one who looks after the birds and helps me you know uh, feeding the birds and things like that so we do take equal responsibility so he's old enough to do a lot of things even if it uh, if it means like cleaning the house and things like that he really does help me my son so I thought it's the right age for him to get the puppy so we are trying out of oh, sorry guys so so yeah and I don't know it's just happened I love puppies more than cats but the reason I was I was also looking out for a cat because I thought cats are going to be you know they are litter trained and they're better dogs you know the only problem with me is the potty training like once I get through that it's all good but how do I how do I accomplish that anyway his name is passion like the passion of Christ but yeah, passion has so many meanings like creative love, creativity, love, power. You know, you can be passionate about so many things. And once you're passionate about something, it's, it's that closer to success and achievement, doesn't it lead to? So his name is Passion, whereas both are birds. You know, the uh, yellow one, the girl we got first, her name is, uh, what's it, Fortune. And the boy we got later, his name is. Happiness. happiness so here's passion we got fortune we got happiness and, and now we got passion and like and i'm gonna call so the passion i'm gonna call the passion and i'm gonna call the so passion. let's put him down and then let's have a look passion to explore not in the bedroom sweetie if you pee in the carpet on the carpet if you pee here it's fine but not on the carpet so that's his pee spot for now but he doesn't want to pee so the key word for peeing making him pee is busy busy so yeah hopefully it works out everyone because I just I'm so much in love with this little puppy but I want this toilet training to happen. Come on, passion. You play with me. So, and also for my son, you know, for Arjun, it's good to have a companion and a playful companion. And oh, he's so sweet. Honey, please learn to toilet train properly, okay? That's my only one and only concern. <laughs> Apart from that, we love you so much, passion. Yeah, and I passion. Passion. Oh, what is this? Passion? <laughs> He's just fooling me. <laughs> Passion. <laughs> so, yeah. If you're taking to the bedroom, you have to carry him because... Um, but I don't know how to carry him. Yeah, you don't carry him. I'm talking about me. Because if you don't carry him, there are chances of him peeing, but he won't pee on people. Like, if you ha carry him, he's not going to pee on you. But here's passion. Let me Hi. hold him properly. Hi, I'm Sweetie. Tired the robot. And hold you properly. But look at his fur. He's got all the colors. It's so beautiful. Because... Well, well not all the colors. I did ask... Whoa, he's a little bit briggy. He wants to play. So I did ask, um, I did ask Panditji at the temple, you know, should I get a cat or a dog? So he said, D cat, 
is not good for good luck. You know, it depends on people that you teach. They're not meant to be on me. No. Yeah. So cat. I'm gonna put him on the thing actually because he is a bit <laughs> wriggly. I don't want him, him to hold a full bladder. Okay, Pashi. Busy, busy. You want busy, busy? Yay, yeah, busy, busy. Well, how do I flip it? Okay, busy, 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 busy. Come on, don't just sit there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Panditji said a cat would, you know, bring more, like a bad luck. Oh, it's mm -hmm. not good. And also I have, I don't want to get allergies, you know, so, um, yeah, the last thing I want is bad luck. <laughs> so he said a dog is good, but he suggested to get a black dog because Indians who are into this astrology and things, mostly they get this black dog as a remedy for many things. But, um, yeah, I was not into a black dog because, you know, you take a photo, you can't see anything, but this puppy is so good because he's got all the colors. He's got a little bit of black on the face Cute. and he's got whites and he's got brown so he's got all the colors so remedy for all the planets <laughs> hopefully oh passion and he's he doesn't have that pouty face he's got like that nice flat teddy face so that's good busy busy come on i didn't lift his bum and put him on that paper this is how you have to train him so lift it and put him here on the paper and say busy busy. Busy busy. Busy busy. 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 So basically all looks like this is what we are going to be doing <laughs> for the busy, next few busy, days. Busy. But, but, unlike before, I'm not alone in this. I have my lovely son to help my me. My name is Orion Radis. So he's going to help me uh, this thing as well. So good. Anyway, ciao. We're going to be busy. Come yeah. here, puppy. Okay. Do your business. Come on. So that's what's going to happen. So you guys might not see me for a while yeah, because that's a puppy. I'm busy being a puppy mommy at this mm -hmm. stage. <laughs> so I won't be. Mm -hmm. I won't be online most me, often me, for a bit. Me, 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 okay. Me, so me. bye. See bye. you too. He's hiding. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so much fun, isn't it? Well, you have school in a bit. It's too early still. Hi, everyone. So today is day three with puppy. And so he woke up at about six o'clock, which is still not early. He had a good sleep at night. Didn't you? Didn't you? He had a good sleep at night. So as soon as he woke up, I took him outside and guess what baby did pee and then I told you guys last time it's like what I've noticed is within 15 minutes to 30 minutes after a pee he does a poop and guess what I waited I made him stand outside and he did his poop look outside so that's a success real success for uh, achievement for day three and the good thing is we are getting a good night's sleep so what i do is i close the door now just leave this much of a gap so this is a new tactic that's working and then i put my leg here like this so he knows he can't come inside and as soon as he pees and poops like first pee and then he takes some time and then poop so as soon as he piece i release it let him in give him a treat as a reward so he might not eat it because he wants to poop and then let him back out after playing with him for a while and then he will know he can't come inside again 
and then he did that and poop and then rewarded him so yes guys so this is day three new puppy and he's already getting it so again i don't have to worry hi thank you so much i just woke up <laughs> yeah oh, oh oh come come here passion so yeah sorry guys just got a mail so anyway i had to wake up so i didn't wake up too early so he slept at 8 50 that's when we all went to bed and uh, yeah so we have to wake up at around this time anyway it's good so we can spend some time and then Aryan can go to school so if we make this our new routine it's going to be good well it's close to our old routine anyway so now he's free he can have some play time he can eat something i can drop Aryan at school he can have his nap while i do some of my work cooking or something so guess what guys maybe i'll be able to edit and make a cooking video today and you can see I'm more energetic, but I'm not showing you guys my morning face. But uh, yeah, I did get sleep yesterday because I was chilled out. He did whine and everything. Once he stopped whining, I did take him in my hands, rock him. So he was sleeping in my arms and I was like, oh, kissed him and said goodnight and then put him in his uh, nighttime sleepy, uh, sleeping, uh, you know, in his crate to sleep. So yeah, he's doing very well for third day. It's really success in the morning. So he does go three times a day. So I know that last uh, yesterday I caught him in the evening uh, doing halfway pee. So now he knows he gets the idea that he has to do it and then come inside. So he goes morning, evening, night. So that's three times, which is not bad. Rest of the time he's just, he's just <laughs> being a chubby boy. Aren't you? Passion. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's such a darling. Such a darling. Such a darling you are. So that's it everyone. So we're going to start our morning. And take care. Bye. So I hope this helps first time puppy owners. I'm learning as I go. So if you guys have any tips, if I'm doing anything wrong, do let me know. But so far, you're having success. Don't disappoint me. Don't let me down. Keep it up. <laughs> See you guys. Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing fine. So yes, for the past three days I've been posting about puppy, puppy, puppy and nothing but puppy. Some of you might be getting fed up of those posts because most of you follow me because you like my cooking videos. But at the same time, I've got messages from a lot of people saying that they love watching my puppy videos. So I'm glad uh, Passion, the pup, my puppy, uh, our puppy, <laughs> has been able to... Uh, what's that uh, take a place in all of our hearts isn't it it's a soul uh, beyond the outward looks and it's yeah it's just amazing it's a journey so today's uh, topic I have something very interesting because last time I did mention to all of you that you know I'm planning to put my puppy on a special diet because if you look astrologically being Indian and spiritual uh, you know there is a thing astrologically Indians do prefer uh, feeding a black dog and they say it protects you but I feel any dog should be fine and luckily passion has all the colors of the dog bow or rainbow in dog's world so he's got white brown and black little bits of black like a little bit on his face and back too so he's got all the colors basically he's covered I hope anyway so uh so they say you know dogs are omnivorous so you gotta um what's it uh keep dogs um what am I going to say? You got to keep dogs on a vegetarian diet. It's better than a non veg. But then they still need non veg. Oh, are you checking it out? <laughs> Instead of barking. Are you checking it out? Oh, he's sleepy. So I'll be talking about this brand in a minute of food and the reasons why I chose it. So I'll be explaining everything, including the ingredients that are in it. But normally, astrologically, they say that a vegetarian diet is better because a diet plays an important role as well in what sort of energy a dog gives out. You know, because it's like if you have pork or pig every day, pig is an animal that consumes garbage every day. So it can, 
you know spread a little bit of negative energy i'm scratching my head because i'm like what am i saying <laughs> i don't want to mislead anyone see it's just how i like things to be you know just what i do i'm just sharing it okay so don't just if you guys have something else that you prefer go ahead and do that or you can look on google but what you know from me like uh what i'm thinking of is to like uh like a dog needs both okay the protein as well is important it can't just survive only on vegetarian diet so fish is good salmon is good and also uh, chicken because chicken is a bird that feeds on grains so that's that should be fine a little bit of chicken and turkey and stuff uh, only thing when you go to the meaty meats like the the wild meats just be careful because astrologically they say when dogs are on such a diet it ends up taking the energies of Rahu, the planet Rahu instead. And that's, uh, it can give out a little bit of, you know. But whereas if it goes on the vegetarian, they say it takes on the more sattvic qualities, which is the protection of the planets and things like that. So mostly a dog on a vegetarian diet is preferably better. And his diet has come, the one that I'm thinking of. I don't know how like big of a brand it is it was not because of the brand name or anything that i bought it it's purely because of the ingredients that this particular diet has compared to the other diets and i'm going to try it with him and see how it goes and hopefully it goes well so let's check out the ingredients on this particular uh, brand diet and see because i do want the puppy to have you know good like you know you feel the difference right when you go on a detox and have fruit smoothies veggies you know compared to just always meat 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 and you get very fatty and you know clogs you you need detox you need healthy balance of fruit veggies so i even bought puppy milk for him so you need all sorts of you know balanced diet so this is a good brand i'll show you guys without delay so if we have a look here you can see that salmon is the first ingredient for healthy skin and shiny coat so that's good so it's not a complete meat-based diet. It's got fruit and vegetables to support overall health. So look at this. So pleasing. Wow. Packed with superfoods and probiotic for immune support and healthy digestion. You're very lucky, Fashion. Look at the diet I'm going to be putting you on. But, oh, that's good. So it does say that it's a premium dog food. So that's good. Well, it has to be. I mean, come on. So this particular bag, I don't know, it's 1.5 kilos. So I paid about 15 bucks for this. And he doesn't eat much, literally. So he eats very little. So that little that he eats, I'd rather it be good and healthy for him. Uh, let's see what else we can find here. So we can see the ingredients. Look at the ingredients. It's got salmon, fish meal, lentils, peas, sweet potatoes. Wow. Pea flour, dried yeast, chicken fat, um, dried beet pulp, so that's beetroot, flaxseed, natural flavor, uh, dicalcium, chloride, chloride something something, kale, chia seeds, pumpkin, blueberries, orange, uh, how do you pronounce that? Quinoa? Quinoa? Whatever. Quinoa? Dried kelp. Oh, it's got coconut, spinach, carrot, papaya, dried lactobac oh I can't even pronounce half of these fermentation or that might be the probiotic component and yeah then a lot of other things over there as you guys can read so it's got vitamins to iron so it's basically like a multivitamin <laughs> like I do take multivitamin tablets so it's basically like that so it covers you know even if you're so it's good that the puppy is gonna get it in his diet uh so just in case because i don't know if my diet is complete you know so i do take the one a day multivitamin tablets that keeps us going right so it's got mag uh, manganese uh does it have magnesium or is it bad for dogs it's got copper zinc mm, biotin vitamin a calcium uh manganese B12 so it's got B B vitamins are good so you know even I take B vitamins it's got B2 B D3 supplement and folic acid yeah I take vitamin B tablets because it's good for your stress levels and you know it's very good if you take it every day for your moods especially for women before your periods you know you can take it 
and then here it's got just this uh, guide I think of previous food or how long it lasts well I don't know about that but I'm just gonna you know give it to him uh, yeah here it's like one half to one and a half cups so he probably would eat one I guess depends you know I wanted to show you guys what all other stuff I bought for him and then he's seen his new toy and he just jumped in there <laughs> oh my goodness passion passion I'll show you guys some of the other stuff this is not all the stuff this is just from Cole supermarket I ordered a hell lot of other stuff from Kmart too but these are things that I just urgently kind of needed in the beginning so let's have a look so I got this so this is called the puppy milk so yeah so that will go along with his bag of so you can see the size they're like small little bitties but i do love this packaging it looks so nice and fresh seeing these veggies and you know compared to the normal meat that you always get so this i just got him a collar and oh what's this I want Aryan to come back from school, my son, so he can open that. He'll be excited. And I got this. This is some um, the jerky. So they like to chew on stuff, especially when they're going to be teething when they're six months. So you get it. I just he's only two months, but still, you know, it's fun. So these are a uh, wild game recipe with apple, but you know, I don't know. Might be kangaroo or something, isn't it? But kangaroos are still they eat herbs, right? Plants, I think. I hope. Anyway, see, we are not sticking to a strict diet where he should only have veggies and all. He can have meat once in a while. And this is going to be not all the time, just like a treat. It's got an apple in it. So just trying out stuff. But the main thing is this one. It's got the fish and all these, what do they call it? They call it the superfoods, packed with superfoods. And he's got his new comb. So we can start brushing his little hair. Do you like it? What's this? What's going on? <laughs> he doesn't shed that much. It's good. Okay, then we got the dental care because I don't want to be brushing his teeth every day, but I do want him to have good teeth. And I asked the breeder. Breeder said, you know, naturally dogs don't brush their teeth and all that. So just get him a good, you know, chewy. So this is good enough for small to medium dogs. So this is the dental care stuffs for the teeth you can see all the teeth so you can chew it chew away uh, this is just snack bites so these are cheesy nibbles just for him to have a change once in a while this is chicken what is this milky sticks and yeah i just got a few treats sort of things you know so if he's doing good give him a change this is another dental care one because i don't know which brand was better i would i prefer the other one to be honest because these ones already i can feel it looks nice and small for small dog whereas this one seems very big and chunky already so it's, oh, it should be all right i guess anyway we'll see which he prefers and then i got this so they said that this these brushes are two step system so this is before you give the puppy a shower you just detangle and give him a shower and this Thin, so it's got like spaced out and thicker bristles whereas this is like see you can see more finer so this is once he's had a shine dried up you can poof him up so i got the two steps i don't know what the third step was but i thought this was good enough you know that's enough and this is just uh no vacuum sanitizer deodorizer, dry so just in case for the smell i wasn't prepared you know if the puppy was a puppy that was peeing and pooping all over the house this would have come in handy but still occasionally if he does it on the carpet then that or oh, yeah and then this is uh we have a order stain remover for surfaces suitable for urine feces and vomit so you know for stains and things like that you can just put it i guess even on his bed that tends to stink so it breaks down uric acid crystals removes trigger to resoil at the same spot so yeah this i'll need if we uh, does it in the house because that uric acid is very strong and powerful in smell so you've got to break have an enzyme breaker in order to be able to break it so it's apple scented scented 
okay so yeah exciting so i'm not touching anything i'm just going to wait for my son to come from school because he's going to be so excited seeing these new things so because he's a kid so it's going to be exciting so we can you know deal with those together there's nothing that needs to be kept in the fridge maybe this one this is slightly cool so i'm gonna keep that in the fridge you love it he's exploring where's your piggy Because of the cardboard i think he's a bit he'll be playing with it soon enough the stuff that i bought as i said it's not all the stuff that i've bought sorry my dress keeps going down it's not all the stuff that i've got because there are more to come <laughs> very more to come trust me uh from kmart but you know for first owners a little bit of essential things like that this is it because the other stuff is like towel once you give the puppy a bath a towel because i don't know if he's going to like the sound of a hair dryer so he can just air dry himself and then I got the combs to comb him and many other things are coming that I might show you in another video but to get started you know this I thought like food and a little bit of grooming and basic you know dental care and things like that and I'll just put it as part one maybe part two I might have something better or maybe I'll just put it basic stuff for first puppy owners it might help you know some of you who are considering getting a puppy like what things you need to get if you're a first time owner and i'm just going with the flow all right so stay tuned watch and enjoy subscribe to my youtube channel for more lovely videos and recipes though it's hard for me these days to put up a lot of videos but still I'll, i'm trying and it'll keep going so take care uh, enjoy god bless bye so quickly one thing i'm going to use for shampoo is this so this is the baby conditioning shampoo or even you can use baby bath i'm not sure but when i did research on the internet many breeders and also people on you know youtube and stuff people use this with good results so johnson's baby uh like or any baby uh shampoo sort of things so because compared to the dog brands it's not that i don't want to buy dog brand shampoos i've tried that but it gives a very animal sort of a smell whereas this you know your puppy ends up smelling nice and like a newborn baby so it smells good and it's light and this is called uh, honey and wheat extracts so you know uh, yeah so this is what we're gonna use normally i put the glen 20 uh you know disinfectant spray but now i've changed it to glen 20 carpet with uh well it's meant to have yeah it's for betsy so i've changed it to that and see executive b so all the b vitamins so it, it helps you with stress and things it keeps your mood i just take it every day for good mood <laughs> so vitamin d it's very important along with my multivitamins so yeah this one but I still normally for the house i use the normal disinfectant spray so it's light and fresh it's just for you know smelling good and uh or the vacuum so it gives a good smell for the house so just the only difference is now i change it to the pet version so there he is he's eating the apple chewy i don't approve of him eating <laughs> on the carpet but it's okay i actually put it for him next to his food bowl and water bowl but because i'm in the bedroom he just picked the whole thing up and he brought it here so he's just enjoying biting on his chewy eh, i'm sure he'll clean up the mess i think he thinks it's really tasty so if not i'll just clean it up not a big deal but he's seriously enjoying it <laughs> he needs to drink some water too it's like biting so it's a very pretty hard chewy but he's managed to powder it up i'm not sure how that happened as you guys can see it's pretty hard it's a jerky sort of a consistency but he's managed to powder it up so yep everyone so he himself has cleaned it all up nothing's left of it <laughs> so everyone he's drinking a lot of milk normally if i just put water he never drinks like this he just drinks a tiny bit and Goes, but he looks like he's really enjoying his puppy milk. Come here, yeah. 
Passion. Passion. Yeah. Yeah. It's just distracted with the noise on the shelf. I'm still waiting for his bowls, proper bowls to come from the online shopping. So that's the next lot of shopping they're all gonna come in. But yeah, definitely he likes the milk more than the water. He would not drink water, so much water at a time. Hi everyone, so Aryan's back. So let's see how puppy reacts to his piggy toy. I can't do it on <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> like, no. You want me to do no. it? You want me to do it no. harder? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're me and Bucky? <laughs> so it's the next day now. So it's day four. Puppy has peed outside early in the morning. There he is. Good boy is here. So we are just now not taking him straight inside because we know his routine in the morning after peeing. After a while he poops. So he's gonna be there. Um yeah, so uh the second item, second bat that I was saying yesterday when I was showing the items, they also have arrived. So that's good. I didn't upload that video yesterday because now I can post everything together in one video. So here's the puppy pee pad mat that's good i can put it here and as i water the garden and stuff i can just put a little bit of soap spray or disinfectant and then hose this off so it's got this underneath drip tray and um i'm not sure i need to work this out in a tray here so i'm not sure if i'll need the drip, drip tray or what to do with it but anyway as of now it's come in these three layers i need to figure that out later okay so he's there we also uh, making him practice um, being on the leash when he's outside so that way he doesn't run away and also he he gets a good practice so yesterday it was a bit itchy for him and he kept itching around the neck where the collar is but now he's getting used to it he's checking it out but I don't want the grass to be on here straight away because I do want him to well he's peed so next thing is poop so he can pee on the grass but I would also like him to, you know, because if he pees on the grass, I'm not going to know. Because he doesn't lift his leg to pee. He's still a baby unless he's six months older. So that's when he's going to lift his leg now to pee. So what I'm thinking is put pee pad halfway. What should I do? Well, I hope he poops on it. So it's going to be a success. No, no. Passion. No, no. No. So, anyway, he's checking it out big time. Okay, so let's check out the other items that I got. So he can have a bath. I got a towel for him. I was looking for the pet microfiber towel, but they ran, ran out. So obviously that's not going to work. I got two blankies for him for night time. So I can wash one and it's dirty. And then I have another spare. Uh, his food and water proper bowls. I'll come now. He's been using those plastic ones But the proper ones have arrived uh, Got a few pairs of Collar and leash a little toy for him. He loves his toys. So I thought Oh, it's so soft So cute All right, and then I got this shiny pair. So this is actually a harness rather than just a collar i thought that would be good it's a nice color see it's like a golden black i like the look of it bling bling i bought another bed for him so it's got a hood so you know if he wants to sleep he can feel more cozy in there oh, it's so soft so soft especially when the other bed gets dirty and if i want to put it for wash he has a spare so I just made sure those sort of clothing things, he's got a spare. Some food and water. Oh, I actually got three blankets. I don't know how a pink one came in there. But anyway, and another collar. This one's got a bell. You know, there you go. Arjun, he's going to... Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy. He pooped outside. Good boy. Good boy. That's you didn't what, tell me. Good boy. That's good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come in, come in. 
Okay, now he's free. He's done everything. Obviously, not on the pee pad, but he's done it all outside. So that's good enough. And then he can slowly get used to it because the pee pad just literally arrived, you know. I need to teach him to do it, but he's done it outside. So good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So now he knows. As soon as that's done. But as soon as he finished doing it, you should have said good boy or something like that. So he knew that's what it is. But tomorrow. Yes. So we definitely, definitely know now he's got a routine. Morning, pee and poop. And then, mister, you found your toy. He's checking out all the stuff. It's all for you. Oh, he, he liked it. Oh, he's going into his bed. Oh my God, that's just so cute. That's just the sweetest thing. He naturally fell into his bed. He like knows that's for me. <laughs> Mine. I think it's upside down, Naji. Is it? No, it's not. It's like this. That's the hood. Oh, he put his toy in his bed. That's like so cute. So as you can see, everyone. So I've just started making a schedule, and he's going uh, fairly regularly, except yesterday because I did get a bit carried away because I bought treats and things. So the feeding got a bit messed up because I was feeding him extra and giving him milk. So I need to, wait Adian, I need to record the video. Keep those there, please. So I need to make sure I feed him on a routine so that the results will come on the routine. So if you can see all these are the areas where he pooped correctly outside. Obviously yesterday this poop at night time, I need to catch it because I'm getting it wrong. See when yesterday, the 6.30 poop, I got it wrong yesterday too. So today evening, so now we know in the evening, he's going to have a pee and poop session and somewhere along. So 6 a.m. pee and poop, play, sleep, eat, drink, tiny pee. So about 11 to 12-ish, he's going to make a tiny pee after he eats. And then see, I went ahead and gave him the street and everything. Then he played outside, blah, blah, blah. So, yes, yeah, so he pees and poops definitely in the mornings. It's been happening for four days now or three days now. Uh, he <clears throat> definitely pees in the evening and that's only pee and then he pees and poops at night so the 6 30 poop we need to be more patient be outside and catch that 6 30 poop and that's it apart from that everything is going on schedule awesome. so there we are everyone so i don't know what this big oh this is a mop actually i bought a mop just in case but i won't be using a mop because i find the paper double is easier because the mop will tend to carry the smell. I got a playpen, but I'm not going to be opening it because this puppy doesn't need it. Only thing is, you know, if you're going out for long periods of time, it's not good to put him in a crate. So once he uh, gets accustomed to actually going on this on some occasions, if necessary or need be, but this puppy is good at home because he's doing his business outside, to be honest. So, yeah, unless we are going out for longer periods and it's not right to you know um put them in the small crate cushion i did first we need to take it out but that's to take it out is to wash it when he pee oh just no he won't poop inside his bed but when he this thing it um to wash it if it gets too dirty all right so let's check out the other items so there's this brushing mitt but i already showed you guys i got two other combs i don't know what that's for anyway i need to check it out then these are like the nibbles so we got chicken nibbles we got some chicken necks so it's all for small breed puppies and some boasted knot bones so they're like safe bones for small breed dogs to chew on flavor and that's to trim the nails i won't need it because i'm scared to do it by myself it's gonna take him to the vet and do it another bell one oh. i think i bought one dog and one like two oh, cats yeah so blunt scissor because he tends to have hair going into his eyes or even for general grooming i think i bought two blunt scissors yeah, Jesus, so you need the ones with blunt edges so the edge is curved so it doesn't go and poke on him that's about it and then about a hundred pee pads that's going to go out onto the pee pad tray instead of the grass for now so instead of this grass just for now until he learns 
you know i'll put it half on it so whichever he prefers so i think i need to be putting it around here for starters and then slowly move it up there once he learns to go because he tends to go around this area so this is yesterday's poop lying there so it's always around this area so now i can throw these old ones because i already know his timing so again he's gonna go in the evening like around 6 30 only good morning everyone so it's um <clears throat> day four here early morning and aryan's awake puppy yeah. is awake well, it's been a good boy today it's been I'm a good boy school. look I'm at all the stuff I promised school today, but it's too early. It's too early, yes, because now we need to get up a bit earlier than school, the usual school time, not too early, about 30 minutes earlier to give puppy some time to do his business. So look at all this. So he's got his new toy in the shopping. <laughs> he just ran up to it. He's got his little bed. So yeah, just did shopping. Come here, passion. Look at the bed. Already taken yes, he just jumped into his bed. Come here, passion. In your bed. So, there we go. Give him a toy to, to put into the bed. Oh, what's this? He just wants to play now. Okay, so it's a success. So today, because we know that early in the morning, he pees and poops. Even uh, afternoon, he has a small pee and evening he pees and poops so because we know that schedule today morning after he peed outside we waited and he pooped outside so i can just put it off into the flush flush that off you can see it's very tiny it's not like a big thing and he got his pee pad so now i can introduce him to his puppy pee pad so you can pee on here so it's got natural grass and then this layer with some holes and then this layer I need to figure out what the second layer is for or if I even need it. If anyone knows what the second layer is for and if I need it, do let me know. But um, now he's too tiny so when he pees he doesn't lift his leg up. So I'm not going to know if he pees on the grass whether he peed or not because it's going to absorb. So what I'm thinking is, no, you go inside please. Go inside. Here, take your toy and go inside. Yeah, what I'm thinking is just to place the pee pads onto the tray for now so that it's white like it's got blue borders and white what are you doing in there so i'll know any piece anyway so he's got other stuff he's got his actual bowls because as of now we were using these plastic ones but he's got his proper ones now got a harness a lot of collars even one with a bell and yeah, he's got a towel so he can have a bath now. A few blankies to keep him warm. And yeah, that's about it. Blunt scissors. Because he's got this hair in front of his eyes that goes into his eyes. So I thought I'll just give it a trim. But apart from that, everyone, it's a success overall. Um, he's learned to go on a collar with a leash so yesterday he was scratching his neck because it was irritating him but today he's fine so all going good success outside i'm going to hose that off water the garden flush this out and now because we know his exact times start um, making him practice being on the pee pad no on the pooping section pooping section yes so that's about it, everyone. Take care. Enjoy. Say bye. Say bye. Bring his piggy thing. So then he'll say bye. Hurry up. Say bye. What's this? He's scared of this one. <laughs> Say bye. He doesn't want to bark. Normally he gives a small boo. 
like that. But now he's just running away. But then he's not bowing. Please, no. He likes all his toys. That's just a more part, yeah? So, yeah. Anyway, I'm heading off, everyone, because kid has to go to school. Puppy's playtime until then. And then, yeah, start off the day. Take care. Enjoy. Bye. So, the best way to keep puppy occupied is with a nice, sturdy dental stick. So, this is the other dental stick that I bought. So, you can see this one does not crumble easily or fall into bits it's pretty sturdy see though he's biting it's just barely leaving some marks but it's not crumbling so this will keep him occupied this is a bit more stronger and it'll keep him occupied for much longer so i'm just going to be doing some work around the house while he's occupied I think these black bits on his fur will start going away and it will become like this light brown color because if you see the regrowth it's like this light golden color everyone because i've been following the schedule and i know that he goes to pee and poop once in the morning and then he goes for pee in the afternoon and then he goes for pee and poop in the evening so those are his three routine so here i put the pee patches here and today he's managed to go so i just put this green thing on top so that later uh when he's six months old because see, if I put this, I can now see when he's done it and praise him, you know. So I want to get that correctly first, where I say the commands and uh, things like that. And once that's done, and when he's six months old, when he starts lifting his leg to pee, so I know he's peeing because now he just stands there. We don't even uh, notice that he's peed unless we see the patch, you know. So after six months, they said uh, male dogs, they start lifting their legs to pee. So you'll know better so after six months i'll put the grass on top but hoping that because both are green he will you know understand so you can see that's where he's peed so that scent is there it's, uh looking more white in the camera but in real life it looks a little bit yellow but not as yellow as when it's on the ground but i've just left it there so you can see that patch where he's done it and yeah hopefully collect more scent onto it so he knows that this is the area he's meant to go on the stray look at the way he's sleeping 